Oh yeah. Have you guys seen this? I'm not going to play the video because it's dark as hell, but this is a post from um, the New York Post. It says the following, a photo reveals a couple slaughtered over a snow shoveling dispute. And if you're not familiar, I've wa I watched this early in the week, but I had to rewatch it again. Thanks to Tim Dillon's podcast, which I recommend you check out. It's on Patreon. He's got a bonus shows on there. <clears throat> They're really, really good. <clears throat> And essentially what it is, is a video um, camera. It's a video camera footage taken outside someone's home where two neighbors, and what you see is a scene uh, develop over like two minutes and a half, I think. Yeah, the four videos are two minutes and a half where two neighbors start arguing about um, the other neighbor, I guess, shoveling snow onto their driveway. I assume that's the problem. I assume that's a big deal in like, you know, places where it snows a lot, maybe in rural places in America, you sort of like make sure you shovel your driveway because, you know, there's no council or local departments going to come through and shovel it. So you're always cool shoving your driveway and keeping it clean, um, keeping it clear so you can drive your car up and down, blah, blah, blah. So I'm assuming this is just a standard thing that people do, but it's also maybe a point of arguments to be had for some neighbors, you know, because, you know, your roads are so close to each other, your spots are close, sometimes some snow could get um moved over the other side maybe unintentionally and intentionally regardless they get into an argument within the argument um there's a couple and then one dude um the, the couple i think the guy comes out first he argues with the guy quite intensely then the woman comes out who's shoveling behind the a guy to kind of back him up then the guy on his own starts to he's i don't think he's, he's in camera yet then he comes out they start pointing fingers and then all of a sudden it escalates to a point where the guy that was on his own ends up shooting both the guy he was arguing and his wife um then goes uh back indoors which where i stopped the video my, my first thought i thought that's where the video ends because he basically shoots them you know point blank and they're effectively dead and i was like god damn it right that's about it but it's actually when i then listened to a tim dylan video he says that there's a second bit where he goes back into the into the home and he gets another gun an ar-15 and then he takes he goes back and shoots them a second time just to make sure and then i guess when he goes back inside his home the final time the police get called they're surrounding his home and then he decides to take his own life but it's a legitimately right one of the most um i think tim didn't describe the same way it might be the most disturbing things i've seen on the internet for a long time and again and i was the kind of person that was addicted to watch people die subreddit right when it was still around it's been you know it's been deleted uh since then it's been banned from the web so i'm sure there's another one that exists but it exists on like an alternative reddit i forgot what it's called but it doesn't get updated as much but when watch people die was around and now there's another subreddit called um dead or vegetable right that's similar sort of elk but i used to be an addict of watching people die addict of it i, used to, I don't know what about it i like watching it but there's something there's something quite uh, thrilling about watching um something so macabre like that happening in just real time in just a uh, the most mundane fashion because that's the thing you start to realize a lot especially when you watch a lot of fight videos fight porn street fights right you start to realize that actual fights actual combat in real life is a lot more it's, it's probably less spectacular less of a spectacle than what it seems like in movies and shit right it's either someone one person does the fight the other person doesn't so it's really one-sided or two people don't know what they're doing and it's just a diabolical thing to watch but it's just something i don't know it's something in it like i'm drawn to it i can't explain it don't ask me why but i used to be obsessed with that subreddit watch people die right and then this video really shook me to my core because of the the banality of it right it's just a really what what from what we can see a sleepy town somewhere um with not many people around you know limited amount of neighbors maybe limited amount of you know places to go just a really quiet small town somewhere people just chilling enjoying their <laughs> enjoying their time doing whatever they're doing and then suddenly in the space of two minutes whole families lives are changed completely on, on a turn of a dime and mostly because one neighbor decided that they would go out of their way to insult the other and then the other person didn't they, 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 had, they had no idea what that person was capable of and i think this is a very good lesson for most people to learn about the benefit and the beauty you know oh, not benefit it's a lesson to be learned um around the whole adage that people have like you never know who you're messing with right like keep mind your business sort of thing um because who knows what drove this guy to snap who knows what got him to the point where he decided to you know um commit double homicide right in broad daylight and then end his own life because he was pissed off that somebody kept shoveling snow into his driveway that's not reason enough to kill anybody right but the issue is 
which is something the reason why I have a lot of the issue with people that exist on social media, especially on Twitter, who kind of have this weird idea that the world needs to conform to how they view things is that the world is unfortunately the way it is as is and it probably will continue to be for until the end of time so you have to learn how to navigate in it as it is at the moment and at the moment there are complete psychos out there who will legitimately kill you at the turn of a dime because something just snapped in them so you it probably serves you best to maybe just keep your counsel mind your business and keep it moving because you really never know who you may cross paths with and this dude was legitimately one of those people um so this is article from new york post it says the photo reveals a couple slaughtered over the snow dispute it says images have emerged of the pennsylvania couple of pennsylvania um that was um heartlessly murdered by the neighbor during a snow shovel dispute james goy 50 and his wife lisa goy 48 were slain by their neighbor outside the sacrum um section on monday in a final altercation that was caught on camera james and lisa are shown in the back row of the facebook picture flanking their surviving fifth-year-old son who has autism um a highly disturbing clip of the incident shows jeffrey allen spade um 47 going into his house to get a gun shoot james and lisa dead following an argument that shoveling snow into the other person's uh, property um it says here quote if you step out there i'll knock your ass out james can be heard saying to spade i'll make your life a living hell here dickhead james can be heard saying to spade and responds what the fuck fuck you fuck you scum and you've got obviously the two victims of the end injury and the the frightening thing about it is that the woman actually keeps talking smack to the guy even with like bullet wounds riddled all over her body the first time that's the absolute madness of it like she's so hell-bent on making sure that he knows that she's not fond of the guy that she's still talking shit to him even when she's like at the de at death's door basically and then of course he comes back the second time with the ar-15 and just completely smokes her um and the guy indoors as well but it's just uh it's a tragic tragic video tragic 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 video tragic altercation but again another indication um that you should just maybe just mind your business like getting involved in every people's everyone's drama and you know calling people certain names triggering them and just doing things just to get a reaction it's just like i don't know sometimes you don't know who you're messing with man you don't know who you're messing with that's just 